Today, today, we're going to, we're going to, show you, show you, how to, how to, use, use, launch, launch, fertilizer, fertilizer. Good girl. Yes. You're funny. I am funny. Do you want a hug? I do. A question we get asked at Lawn Porn quite a lot since we've released the fertilizers is how many mils per the litre? Well, that's really the wrong question to be asking. What you need to be asking yourself is how many square metres of lawn area do you have? So what you need to do from here is work out how much water your sprayer uses for your area. Yeah. Step one, measure your area. Now, step two. If you want to be one of the cool kids, just put water in your sprayer. Step three is to practice your spraying technique on concrete. What you want to do here is you want to see how your sprayer works. So spraying on concrete, you can actually see where you're spraying. So what you're aiming for is an even pass and then an even pass back with little to no overlap. Nice and even spread. Just walk in a nice, deliberate, slow pace and just try and be as even as you can. Now do realize if you're using a hand sprayer with, you know, with the pump, that the pressure drops in those units very quickly. So you'll have to stop and pump it up every now and then to try and keep the pressure as even as possible. That's why investment in a backpack sprayer is, is quite good. A real great thing to get is a flat fan nozzle. That makes it nice and even, it's like a straight line. Why do we practice on concrete? Well, we just wanna get a feel for what our sprayer and nozzle are doing and get those nice even passes. And while we're using water, well, we don't wanna stain the concrete that we're practicing on. So now that we've done that, it's time to go to the next step. Step four, refill your sprayer with a known amount of water. In this example, we'll go five litres. Heidi, don't jump on the couch. So step five is to do a practice run with just water. So what you want to do is again, be deliberately slow, nice even spraying, little to no overlap, and do your whole lawn. Step six is to measure the water that you use. So measure the amount of water you used using the adjust water practice run that you did on your whole lawn. You are funny, but you're wrecking our furniture. So let's say for our example that you've used five litres of water for 100 square metres of lawn and try and stop looking at her. I know you're laughing. Okay, step seven. The recommended application of launch for a 100 meter square area is between 50 mils and 100 mils. When you're first using any foliar spray product, use the lowest recommendation first and then build up in other applications. It's just so that the plant gets used to it and you get used to using it and you don't over spray. Hi. Step eight, check your concentration. In our example, if I was using a full strength launch application on a 100 metre square area, I would need to add 100 mils of launch to at least five litres of water, but not exceeding 15 litres of water. When you're mixing your chemical in with your water, it's advisable that you fill, half fill your tank with water, then put your chemical in, and then agitate it by putting more water in to your desired level. Some people, after they put their mix in, use a stick to stir it up. I don't. I just uh, close it up and uh, give it a big old shake, and uh, I find that that mixes it in quite well. That's just what I do anyway. So apply your chemical and water mix in the same fashion as you did as your water only passes. You should use the same amount of liquid as you did in your water only passes. If you've got a little bit left over, that can happen. That means you've undersprayed a little bit. If you run out before the end, well, you've oversprayed a little bit. But try and be as even as you can and uh, don't worry too much if you're just a little bit out. Okay, so after you've finished your spraying, step 10, 
is to immediately wash your sprayer out with water. So what you do is you put a bit of water in it and then uh, spray it through the nozzle for at least a couple of litres, ditch that water, then do it again and swish the tank around a bit uh, each time that you do that. That should uh, make it clean. If you leave the chemical sitting there overnight, you'll uh, just get deposits and it's no good for your sprayer. No good for the longevity of your sprayer anyway. So not everybody has a 100 metre square of lawn, right? Well, my lawn, all the areas, is 160 square metres. So everything I would times by 1.6. So if I'm using the lowest level of launch, for example, which is 50 mils, I would times that by 1.6. So that would be 80 mils. I use 8 litres of water when I do my passes on my 160 metre square area. So does this fall within the concentration recommendation? Well, yes, it does. 5 litres times by 1.6 is 8 litres. If using a watering can for example, a higher water volume will be required and I could go all the way up to 24 litres. I just have to split up my doses. Again, I'd have to do a watering can test run just with water and to see how many watering cans full that I use. If your area is smaller, you would uh, say like 50 square metres what you would do is 50 mils of launch works in 100 square metres of lawn. So you times it by 0 0.5 and that'll give you 25 mils of launch for a 50 square metre area. Thank you for helping me today. Jumping and <laughs> jumping say hi, Dee. And jumping and say, say hi, Dee. Yeah, well, I have been, but you haven't been listening to me. Do I gotta be sure together? Alright, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> and follow my tips too.